everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing so it's quite small um, at the moment so I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, And I know that some of you are hoping to get readings so I'm going to do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So the sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and. Um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading, just get some questions from you, that's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you and it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading, I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello lovely Cancerians and um, this is your reading for August 2017 and I'm going to start by saying okay this is a really powerful month, um, very very powerful in terms of change that needs to happen, that's been needing to happen for a long time and for you um, because of it's because of this sun in Leo and the solar eclipse, new moon solar eclipse in Leo as well. For you, that's in your second house. The second house is all about value. It's all about whether you're valuing yourself, what your personal resources are, whether you feel confident in your personal resources and what you're able to attract, whether you're asking for enough, whether you are displaying uh, value towards yourself in terms of um, that maybe the salary you command or what you allow yourself to receive from others. So, and you've got a tension between that and your eighth house, which is about um, other people's money and, um, and intimacy. And, but really, it feels like for you this month, it's a tension between what you own and what others own uh, that maybe supports you or um, ways that you want to get your independence. Can I stand on my own two feet? Do I feel confident enough with that? Um, but it's, it's not just that. It's also looking at, um, in terms of your personal resources, do you feel that your personal resources are in need of some sort of refreshment, some sort of change, some sort of upgrade? Because you're going to be, the thing about this eclipse is that it's asking us all to change in some way. So it could be that you're going to start to feel that you're not asking for enough, um, you know, of the world, of, you know, for what you do, or you're not feeling that sense of self-value because you're not feeling that you have a place in the world at the moment or a strong enough place in the world and you feel as if you're 
having to rely on someone else or lean back on um, you know, uh, some kind of assistance from somewhere else or something like that because it's the second house and the eighth house opposite. The eighth house, that's going to be where your full moon is, where you're going to be asked to um, let go of some things or some ideas about things. And it's, it's about um, you know, trusting that you're strong enough to be able to call in um, what you need to that will allow you to feel that sense of value again, whatever form that takes for you. It could mean, um, you know, it could mean that you come to a compromise or that you do work with other people, but you feel that sense of your place within it and you feel much more that, well, you know, I, I have value here now because I'm able to receive this in return for what I'm um, providing. Okay, hope that makes sense to you. So that's where you're going to be asked to leap into the new. It's in terms of what you're able to receive um, that will add to your personal resources or finances, if you like. Okay, so what will help Cancerians um, to trust themselves, to allow themselves to receive more? And um, also, Cancer, if you're going to use my med uh, meditation, um, I almost said magic there. If you're going to use my, hopefully it will be magic. If you're going to use my manifesting meditation, um, you need to be thinking about what would it look like for you uh, to feel really good about your personal resources, your financial situation, your abundance, the money that you receive. So, you know, how would it feel for you to... Uh, what would it look like? What would your life look like for you to feel totally happy and satisfied about that or about your own personal sense of value in the world? And that those are the pictures that you need to be using to create your manifestation. Okay, so what's going to help cancer? Well, let's get a bit more detail on this. What is cancer looking for to support their sense of value? Okay, I just heard stop. stop. Okay, so we're doing past present, future, uh, advice and outcome. So past, we've got goddess of the earth, okay, and the message says, as you, uh, sorry, an, an idea connected to imagination, creativity and nature is coming your way. So there's something here that you've been, uh, that you've done in the past that has been connected very strongly to creativity and um, that has really helped you to get a, a sense of yourself, of who you are. So it's either creativity or it's nature, you know, it's growing things, creating things, almost creating something out of nothing. And, um, you know, almost like a magician, like making something, I'm using my hands, I'm doing this, so they're making me feel, you know, there's going to be some cancerian, you know, that it's almost like a potter or something. Anyway, it's, you're not all going to be potters, I know that, but it's really about bringing something to fruition. It's about creating something that wasn't there before um, in the physical sense and that can be plants and trees and gardening but it can also be any kind of artwork or creativity um, so this is something that you've you've done and there are more ideas coming your way but it's in the past position so this is where you're coming from now and it might be that you've been exploring this or it's been going through your mind just recently, like, do I want to go back to that? Do I want to put more time and energy into that? Am I really expressing myself enough creatively? Am I satisfied with what I'm doing? Could that creativity help me um, with manifesting abundance? Could, could I, you know, do it that way? Am I good enough? Is it good enough? Is, does it, what I do have value? So it's important for you to recognize that that question is there in your energy field, does what I do have enough uh, merit to create value for me? So just sit with that for a while because this is what where we're coming into this energy and where you might need to do a shift in belief to really trust yourself a bit more. So where are we right now? This is the present. Angel of new life. I love that. How perfect is that? So we've got this for the month that has a new moon solar eclipse where you're being asked to embrace the new, 
This new life, let's see what it says here. An exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold. So there's something here, Cancerians, that I just think, oh, hallelujah, thank God. If it's that, you know, you've been on the edge about to leap into something for a long time, like whether it's a change of home or a change of job or a change of um, location, like moving from one part of the world to another or from one part of your country to another, whatever it is, it's like this thing is about to take off is what I'm hearing. It's about to happen. And if you're feeling that there's, there hasn't been anything around, then it could be something that comes to surprise you. And it should be something that's connected with your ability to create more value or to feel a greater sense of value. So if you have a question at the moment, should I go for this? I'm thinking of going for this. I'm thinking of trying that. It does seem to say that it would be a good idea for you to leap into it and embrace it as long as it is something that brings value, that creates value in the lives of others or that may, and, and that allows you to receive value, okay? And that can be a sense of self, a stronger sense of self. There will be people out there who are thinking of doing some kind of volunteer work or there will be people out there who are not um, thinking of relating, not relating this to a career or a job at all, but it can just be about seeing, you know, approaching things differently, um, putting yourself out in the world differently, and therefore um, commanding a greater degree of respect and a sense of value, okay, so, but there is a new life for a lot of Cancerians, a new life that does involve a change of circumstances where you are being asked to believe in yourself, believe in your gifts and believe that you can take this thing, whatever it is, and move it forward in a way that does bring abundance into your life. So start to visualise it, start to picture it, start to make it happen. So future goddess of sacred power, you are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. So, you are being asked to step up, basically, and make the decision. This is the thing. You're being asked to stop wondering, stop worrying, and stop holding back, and take a step forward. It's the, I don't think I need to explain that card any more than that. Okay, so advice. Your advice card is God of Conflict Resolution. So for some Cancerians, there will be something, and this, the combination there is a bit sort of like, you know, you're coming to the end of a work situation, for example, where there's been a conflict or a, a relationship like where there's, there's been conflict. Something needs to be resolved in order for you to move into this new life, this better situation. So you're being asked, you're being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict is what the card says. Now, with, with um, that sort of advice, I always have to add, you have to be the judge of this. It's your free will choice. If you are feeling that um, it's something that you're ready to walk away from and that you have support around you, then go for it if it's what you really, really want. But obviously the cards are just a guide. But this is letting you know that the universe is behind you in you know and supporting you in making that decision walk away from conflict don't give it any more fuel don't give it any more fire if it's a current conflict and if it's something that was a conflict in the past that really brought you down because i i know a lot of cancerians have been really been through it and it may not resonate for some of you but if if that has been the case for you, walk away, turn away, you know, from any kind of arguments or conflicts. Just don't get involved. It's, it, you don't need it at the moment. You need to be putting your energy into this new life and into just trusting yourself again and having your confidence again. Okay. Yay! Outcome. Something wondrous and magical is about to happen. So this is what, this is what I feel for you Cancerians. If you, from around this time of, of watching this video, like the end of July, right through August to the end of August, sort of around the 20th when the sun goes into Virgo, that whole Leo time, if you trust yourself, whatever the path is for you, um, you know, if you trust yourself in terms of taking a new step, a new direction that brings you more uh, peace, that brings you more of a sense of being in charge of your life again, you will 
come to a much more joyful place than you've been in for a very, very long time. So you're basically you're being asked to at least begin to take steps now. It's not necessarily um, going to be um, a thing that happens immediately. It might just be that you make the decision over this period and that you start to put the feelers out and that you start to connect with people. You start to build your support network. Whatever it is, a shift will happen around that new moon. I think it's the 21st of August that will be you just saying, um, you know, or is it July? Sorry, sorry people. <laughs> you can check that. I think it's the 21st of August. Yeah, yeah, okay. So when that happens, you need to be really, really ready and really, really clear about what you want to happen rather than waiting for something to happen because changes can come along that force our hands when it's an eclipse and um, I, I hate saying that because it sounds really ominous and it's not a bad thing because the universe is supporting you and loving you and, and bringing you into something really great um, but what can happen is that what's on the opposite end um, which is the eighth house can sort of start to look a little bit not so reliable. So if there was some something that you were depending on um, before, some other resource, then it might start to look like, okay, I'm going to need to make sure that I've got this covered. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. I don't like doing predictions that are negative because we're creators here, and we don't want things that are going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Having said that, um, it's really a great time for you to take the leadership and to go after what you want rather than waiting for the forces of the universe, destiny, astrology, whatever, to, to make your mind up for you, okay? So, I'm being told purple for you. Let's go with that one then. Acceptance and the message is, there is nothing in your life to fix, only to di uh, the disowned parts of you that learn that yearn for love and acceptance. Okay, nothing to fix, just the disowned parts of you. I love that, that's perfect. So what that's saying is everything that's on the outside is just a reflection of what's on the inside. So there's no need for you to fix it or change it or alter it in any way. Work from the inside develop a greater sense of value, self-value from within. Remember the times when you felt really good about yourself, really great about your path and about who you are and who you were. And from that place, you will automatically know what you have to do, what, what things you want to do, what you need to take a leadership role in, how you want to move ahead in life, what makes you really joyful, what makes you feel good about yourself and what makes you feel that deep sense of value because the outer value can only ever reflect what's going on inside. So this is about accepting who you are at, at a very deep level. I love that. And it says you are an eternally radiant being of light. Accept all that you are and just be you. When you truly accept yourself, your whole world will magically and lovingly transform. So that's lovely. There's not an awful lot more to say than that, except the fundamental basis of everything that will shift for you um, in this month, Cancerian, in this period, is about valuing yourself and allowing all the goodness the universe has to offer to come to you as a result of that. So you know, shifting out of things that are reflecting back to you um, a lack of value. The way to do that is to connect, reconnect with that value first and then it will all become abundantly clear to you, okay, what it is that you need to create next, what it is that you need to, to bring into your life, you know, for yourself and for those you love and for just, you know, the general sense of joyfulness in your life. Okay, have a fantastic month. It's going to be a really interesting August for all of us and for you Cancer I think you might surprise yourself. Have a great time and um, I'll speak to you in September. Bye.